Hello, and welcome back to this new episode of Rare Academy. Today we're going to talk about the difference between safety and non-safety devices, specifically light curtains, and learn how important it is that these devices are aligned correctly to ensure they comply with all safety parameters. The main difference between a safety device and a non-safety device is the signal the device emits when it breaks down. For example, when a normal non-safety photocell fails, like the one in the gate of our house, we don't know what signal it will emit. So, the gate could remain open, closed or stuck in any position, depending on the type of failure. In contrast, when a safety device breaks down, the output signal emitted must ensure the machine it is connected to is stopped. In order for a light curtain to be considered safe, two important factors must be taken into account during the assembly phase. The first is that the emitter and receiver must be perfectly aligned, with almost no margin of error. The second is that the safety device must not be compromised by the reception of any signal other than the emitter. Therefore, identical devices, light radiations, reflective elements or the occasional Darth Vader must not be placed within a certain proximity. As specified in the EAC 61496 standard, to achieve this goal it is necessary to design an optical system with the following characteristics. Firstly, the light beam must be uniform and circular. The image on the left is from the beam of a normal photocell, while the one on the right is from a safety photocell. This ensures that the beam emitted by the emitter is well defined. Secondly, the optical aperture must be within certain values. This is essential in ensuring that each receiver picks up the beam of its own emitter and not that of the others. For this reason, it is necessary to limit the angle of the emitter. Type 2 light curtain have a maximum aperture of 5 degrees whilst Type 4 light curtains have a maximum aperture of 2.5 degrees. Thank you for watching this! I hope you found it interesting! I look forward welcoming you in the next episode of Rare Academy!